Entrepreneur on Fire. If you haven't heard that, then you likely haven't heard of podcasting either. Undoubtedly, you'll soon hear about podcasting and John Lee Dumas. Both are making a significant mark in the entrepreneurial world. I'm a realist. Everything has its cycles. Radio, television, podcasting, and you know who knows what my future will hold, but right now I am living in the moments, enjoying the moments, and podcasting's uh, proven to be quite a moment. It has indeed for the 30-something former military veteran who describes his career and his podcasting passion in one word. One word? One word. Astounded. <laughs> <laughs> his easygoing and charming personality have won him a spot on people's smartphones around the globe. Dumas's radio-style audio interviews, which are broadcast only via the web through directories like iTunes and his own website, feature daily interviews with entrepreneurs. Are you prepared to ignite? Working from his home overlooking San Diego's Mission Bay, it's really hard to call it work, but it's easy to understand why in such a short period of time, Dumas, even without any official broadcasting experience, has become a sensation in the podcasting world. An infographic on his website highlights his accomplishments, showing the rapid growth of Entrepreneur on Fire and an equally rewarding financial return on investment. But when he began in 2012, he had no idea all of this would unfold. At month 13 post-launch, so in October of 2013, uh, we had our first six-figure month where we broke $100,000. And I remember looking at Kate and saying, I think we can move to San Diego. <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> I, think, I think that uh, we can do this and I think that this free, valuable, consistent content that we're producing is reaching enough people to where we've hit that tipping point. And since that month, Phoebe, we've had a six-figure month every single month. And since the filming of this story, that figure has climbed to well over 200000 each month. John and the EO Fire team, which includes his girlfriend Kate, released the figures in bonus income reports via his podcast and website for all to see. A large portion of their monthly income comes from educational membership programs and training courses on podcasting, as well as advertisers in the podcast episodes. Being a boy from Maine, country boy, and... Now realizing that this is not only where I get to spend some of my time, but all of my time, it's kind of a dream come true. About 39 million Americans now listen to podcasts, and that figure is growing. John Lee Dumas continues to blaze the trail as both a leader and an inspiration to others seeking to start their own podcast. From Mission Bay, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua, reporting for PCIN-TV.